Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and I'll put your soul to rest for boss time. And let's play Crimson Gem Saga. Last time, we died. So let's try a different approach this time. You actually can win this fight, even though the story will progress the same way whether you win or not, but you do get a pretty good reward for doing so. So the secret to winning this fight it's is using poison against them. Okay, we got it on the first try. Nice, nice. So, yeah, whenever he gets his turn, he'll take some damage based on the based on his maximum HP. And in order to survive, all we need to do is just keep on reviving whoever he kills because he only has single targeting attacks that he can use against us. This is Killian's fault. Haha. <laughs> I like Henson's voice acting in this game. So yeah, this is why I bought all the angel feathers that I did, so that way we could get through this fight and everyone can reap the experience. Who would hit a lady? Because this guy does give a lot of experience. In fact, I'll be pretty overleveled for the remainder of chapter one. This is Killian's fault. Yeah, as you might have noticed last time, there is no point in trying to attack this guy normally. You just won't feel the damage. And we can't even block his attacks either. Who would hit a lady? Yeah, that is one odd thing about how the defense command works. It only works, uh, if it works at all, it only works on the first attack an enemy will make on you in the round. It doesn't cut all the image in half until you get your next turn. Now. Who would hit a lady? So if you're, you're like fighting a large group of enemies or something, it's only going to work on the one Here attack. Goes. Ha-ha! Got it! Yeah, it kind of reminds me of the Mist Spider strategy I used in reading Historia. Ooh, we got the Joker card on the first try again. Nice! So yeah, sometimes you'll just get these Joker cards on the first try, and other times it'll take you like five or six tries for some reason. But I would definitely get the Joker card from this one. So even though we won, we didn't, I guess. That's... Whoa! Where'd that come from? Oh! Hey, another character with a unique spray! How's it going? What are you fools doing here? There's no way you can survive in here. But we're alive. Do yourself a favor and get out of this place while you can still breathe. But there is no way out of here. Nice. I won't let you underestimate me. Get back here, old man. You almost got yourself killed just a moment ago. Calm down, Killian. Are you always going to fly off the handle when someone insults you? What's the matter, McFly? Chicken? Shish, you really are sensitive. Evidently. You don't understand. I hate people thinking I'm a weakling. But you are a weakling. You really need to learn how to relax. Or that. <sighs> He's right. You're still breathing, aren't you? Sometimes you gotta know when to run away. Let's just get moving and find a way out of this place before we have any more surprises. Yeah, running away from random battles is... random, let's put it that way. Maybe I'll show it off sooner or later, but... Okay, so, we got through the battle, we gained a ton of levels there. Let's see, how's the SP doing? Pretty good here, so... Let's go... Yeah, we got enough. Let's get the Tier 2 uh, single targeting ice spell there for Henson. Now, by the way, if you're going to go for, like, an ultimate efficient setup, 
One thing to keep in mind, as far as like spending SP on learning new abilities goes, characters will sometimes leave the party and come back later, or be removed from the party, or whatever, periodically. You know, I should save with that Joker card, just in case. Where am I? There we are. So, if you want to, like, skip rant some of the standard encounters and not waste any SP, you may want to not invest as much into Henson, because of all the characters in the game, he spends the most time out of our party. So, he's not going to stick around for an incredibly long time, but I still think it's long enough to be worth putting some SP into him. Otherwise, you may want to put some SP into learning Illusion Assault for Spinel. It's really, really damn powerful. I'm not going to learn that in Chapter 1, but you could if you want. Well, turn around and look behind you. Nuts. I got caught on that, well, those bones or skeleton or whatever that thing is on the ground there. Okay, let's head this way first. This doesn't lead to the end, but there is a reward over here for satisfying our curiosity. Ooh, another pair of boots. We can use that. And a staff upgrade for Henson there. So let's see. Let's go. I'm going to give Spinel the boots since she's further up in the party formation. And let's see. I don't really care about the attack stat boost that new weapons give Henson, but as you can see, it boosts his fire and wind elemental resistance there a little bit. So, yeah, we might as well take the more powerful staff. Why not? Otherwise, though, buying weapons for Henson is pretty pointless. Because he always... Ah, oh, nuts. You never really want Henson to use his basic attack command anyway. He has more than enough MP to never run out. And feel free to uh, just go nuts with Henson's tier 2 magic there. Me, personally, I like putting SP into learning more magic for Henson. So he has more versatility and... He can be more useful while he is around. Okay, we're good. But why is there light on the other end? Oh! Well, that's unexpected. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, that's weird. Well, I suppose someone has to live here. Hey, how's it going? I wonder why they call it Mirage Village. Oh! Well, yeah, I suppose so. Nuts. Oh! Well, thank you! Couldn't you... I don't know, just look out a window or something? Oh, nice to meet you too, buddy. Sure, why not? Might as well take a little respite here. And there's some treasure we can pick up as long as we're here, so let's take a look around. Hey, how's it going? Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. Well, I suppose it is a tower. You would have the the room for that sort of thing. Okay, how's it going? And yeah, let's check out this house first. Oh, it's not a house. It's an inn. Oh, a little bit, I guess. Oh, okay. Well, I'll check. I'll check it out. Let's see, how are we doing here? Hmm. Yeah, let's rest up here. That might be a good idea. We're not done with the tower yet. We're not even close to the top. So we still got a bit of a ways to go. 
fact, I think technically we're still at the bottom of the tower. We haven't even taken any stairs yet, I don't think. Let's see, is there anything at the end here? I don't think so, but I'm just going to double check anyway. I'm always paranoid about that sort of thing. I like how they have the whole sheep, or counting sheep thing for going to sleep, and then the last one stumbles. <laughs> nice, amusing little touch there. Oh, nice. And let's see if this is has some treasure. Hey, hey all right, I can use the money coming up. Not here, but soon enough, viewers, soon enough. Still breathing. Let's see. Now, the town is divided into quadrants. So, yeah, now let's go to the southeast quadrant, sort of. Hey, how's it going? Uh, yeah, I suppose so. Let's take a look. Wow, that's a big tower. Er, well, yeah, I suppose it is a tower, but... Your clock tower. Your tower is so big. Well, let's take a look at what they got for sale here. I would not recommend buying anything here, really, because... We're going to have another shop coming up soon enough anyway, so we might as well just save our money for upgrades. Oh, I uh, went past that guy a little quickly there. Oh, uh, well, there's not a whole lot of people to sell to, you, is there? Okay, well, we can get an upgrade sword for Killian there, but we can find the Claymore coming up, so I wouldn't bother with it. Hmm, the Blade of Glory would be pretty good for Spinel, but eh, it's a little bit pricey for my taste, even though I have a ton of money. But I do want to save my money for even more expensive stuff later on. And we also have some better equipment. You could get the Gambeson for Henson there. That could be nice. But otherwise, yeah, I'm not extraordinarily interested in that stuff. Oh, okay. Well, keep that in mind. Do you sell a dagger, Garnet? No. Nah. No, that's another game, viewers. Well, I guess I don't really need any more angel feathers. Not for a while, anyway. Eventually, I will want to buy more for another intended-to-lose boss fight. But yeah, there, there's a couple boss fights in the game where you can lose, but still manage to progress with the plot anyway. Or you can win, and you can get a pretty good reward. The game has a pretty unique approach to handling that, as opposed to forcing you to waste resources on a fight you'll just never win. And it's usually pretty obvious, no, no way we're taking this guy down. <laughs> okay, now over here, haha! What do you mean? Yeah, someone just dropped two grand on the floor. Now, in order to get this money, you have to do it now, because if you wait until you advance the plot anymore, you won't be able to get it, even though you could still clearly see the spot there, but for some reason, the money's not there anymore, I guess. It's kind of weird how they handle it. Well, what do you mean? I don't know. Uh, can I move? Thank you. Somehow I got caught on her dress. No, I guess I can't talk to that guy. Okay, never mind. What economy? Oh. Uh, darn, I, I guess. Evidently. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe I'll take a pit stop there. Nice pun there, game. Ah, there we go. Hmm. Wonder why you would have those two things on a chest. Ah. Yeah, I suppose. 
I like how they have Killian comment on treasures and stuff here. It's like, what the hell? Why would you have this in a chest? Or something like that. Oh, good for you. Hey, okay, how's it going? No, well, not right now. Can I get in there? Yes, I can. Oh, sure, why not? Hmm, I wonder why people are... So many people are suggesting we go to the tavern. Hmm. Okay. Ah, there it is. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, you can never have enough MP restoration items. Not like you'd ever run out, though. We might have talked to someone by that name back at Shern, if you recall. Man, they got a lot of landscaping around here. You guys getting ready for Halloween with all the pumpkins here? Oh, they got a statue up there. Well, there's the exit, but we can't take it, even if we try pressing against the border of the town there like that. Well, before going to the bar, let's go over here first. Well, I guess he just wants to spend time alone. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, how's it going? Well, he's in your room or house right now. Um, uh, okay. Well, that's deep, man. Both literally and figuratively, I guess. Hey, hey all right. Okay, well, we've been everywhere in the town, and at least to my knowledge, we've gotten all the treasures we can get around here. So let's pay a visit to the local tavern. Hey, how's it going? Um, yeah, I suppose. Well, thank you. Hey, hey, all right. I have no idea what any of that means. Got way too many apostrophes there, game. I'm guessing it's just gibberish, not an actual language. Oh, okay. What do, what do you guys do about all the monsters in the tower and everything? Oh, okay. Well, good. Thank you. I mean, we're on the job and all that, but that's no reason we can't get drunk. And you are. Yeah, I like this place. What do you mean? Yeah, we should just accept their generosity at face value. We are. Calm down, buddy. Hey, how's it going? Oh, yeah, thank you. I already rested at the end, but that's okay. What do you mean by that? What gave you that impression? But Henson was the one who was just talking. What's going on? Oh. Well, yeah. 
Spinel had to do all the work. Yeah, just forget about it and move on. It's like my mom always says, you can be right and you can be dead right. I'd rather let someone else be right than being dead right. So now we're alone with Killian. Although I think we could still get stuff for the other party members, but we're all by ourselves. Hmm? Who was that? Huh. I wonder what she wanted with Killian. Find out next time on Let's Play Crimson Gem Saga! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!